so we were at the projectile motion in last video we discuss about the x direction and y direction right today we will discuss about the ground to ground projection ground to ground projection in this we will discuss about some derivations number one is time what time it takes of flight in which time what time it will take to get flight what we have discussed in before videos which example suppose that this is a surface and here it was a ball when it will move and hit this ball and it was making an angle it was making a, this was the x axis and this was the y axis right this was the initial velocity initial point and this was the final point this was a v sine theta and this is a v cos theta right and this is a maximum point so in this the displacement in y direction will be equal to zero displacement in y direction will be equal to zero why because when will it will start moving from here it will start moving from here and move towards here it will start from the ground and hit it will ground and it will hit to the ground so displacement will be equal to the zero in y direction not in x direction but in y direction displacement in y direction will be zero so like this take this example this was the angle that it was making this ball was making this one angle this was a ball and making this one angle and move towards the it was moving towards the here right y x and this is a ball right here the displacement y is equal to the zero this for the final point and this for the initial point so displacement in y direction will be zero because it's moving from the ground and it is hitting towards the ground and hit towards here so this will become as a displacement in y direction will be zero so velocity responsible velocity velocity responsible for the upward motion upward motion of ball is vy vy which is the velocity of the vertical component that is the obviously that is responsible for the upward motion of the ball so here as i discussed that displacement in y direction this is a displacement in y direction will be equal to the zero so that is equal to the zero in y direction now here we will calculate the time that for the flight time of the flight for time we will use the equation using equation of motion right so here we will uh, ex, uh, equation that s is equals to vit plus half at square this is a uh, you can see the uh, equation for finding the time we will find this time from this equation so here s y will be there because we are we have discussed that which velocity is responsible for the moving the upward motion that is the y velocity v y so we will use y component here what is the initial velocity that is a v y and time plus half acceleration that is a minus g in y component right we have discussed that is a minus g and t square right so the s y is equal to the v y t minus one upon two g t square. Here we have discussed that the s y is equal to the zero. So here s y is equal to zero, and we can write v y as a v sine theta, and here time minus one upon two g t square. When we will move this whole term towards that one side, it will be the positive that will be the this one sine theta and time this one t will cancel with this one t so it will be the one upon t 
जी टी इज इक्वल्स टू द वी साइन थीटा राइट सो वी वॉन्ट टू फाइन दिस टाइम सो दिस जी इज मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विल डिवाइड देयर सो द वी साइन थीटा एंड जी सॉरी इट विल डिवाइड जी हेयर जी एंड दिस इज डिवाइडिंग एंड इट विल मल्टीप्लाई हेयर टू साइन थीटा अपॉन जी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू द टाइम सो द टाइम इज इक्वल्स टू द टू वी साइन थीटा अपॉन जी वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट लाइक टाइम इज इक्वल्स टू टू वी साइन थीटा वी कैन राइट टू वी वाई अपॉन जी सो दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द टाइम टू द फ्लाइट टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वन 